I am joined by Dr. Raina Fine, Professor Emerita of Ocean Sciences at the University of Miami. Dr. Fine has attended 52 consecutive AGU meetings and is here to share the impact AGU has on its members' lives. Dr. Fine, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for interviewing me. Of course. So I got my PhD in 1975. And as a woman in ocean sciences in 1975, I was totally isolated and I had zero confidence in what I was doing, why I was a scientist. It was just all, I was there. Yeah. Okay. A few years after getting my PhD, I landed a job at the National Science Foundation in Washington, D.C. Wow. And when I got that job, I was one of five women in the United States at a research university doing work on the physics of the ocean. One of five. Wow, that's incredible. So, that experience at the National Science Foundation just changed my life. It was so enriching. So AGU Advance is one of our great journals, published an article in 2021 showing some of the statistics for women in the geosciences. Overall, we hold 27% of the faculty positions, almost half at the assistant level. Wow. But less than 20% at the full professor level. So we're losing them? We're losing them big time. Still, to this day, yeah. it's pathetic. Okay, more pathetic is the fact that less than 1% of the women geoscientists today are of color. Whoa. So in my experience, the National Science Foundation, AGU, UCAR, and several other organizations have been working diligently to try to do something. First of all, they've been tremendously encouraging for women in science, mm -hmm. and they've done trying to do things for women of underrepresented groups and of color but it's just a humongous challenge. I've and held many volunteer positions, yeah. many rewarding volunteer positions. I've been on the board, I've been on the council twice, once as president of Ocean Sciences section. I founded the College of Fellows. Oh, and wow. um, the experiences not only of being as part of AGU, but working in DC um, at the National Science Foundation and with other organizations have helped to show me where my science fit into the whole bigger picture yeah. of the geosciences, climate change, etc. Yeah. That was something that as a young PhD I desperately needed. I understood the nitty gritty, but the big picture, nah, nowhere. But what I wanted to conclude with is that just hiring one underrepresented person or one woman doesn't do it. You need to feel part of a cohort, of a community. And however it gets done, I think that that's one of the important lessons of my career over the years. So thank you, AGU. It's been a great ride. Wow, that is an incredible story. I think your journey with AGU is just incredible to hear how many years you've been a part of this and you've seen how much it's grown and how much it's helped you and others grow. So thank you so much for sharing this important message. You're welcome.